So, another weekend, another day of doing car stuff. So, Volkswagen we got painted. Looks pretty good. It came home with a lot more issues from the people who painted it. But I'm not even gonna get into that. And now we're dealing with the Jeep. Actually, we dropped my dad off at the airport and there was a lot of liquid under the Jeep. And I said, well, I hope that's not from mine. And then once we got somewhere else, I uh, decided to check it a little bit more and it was coming from mine and I felt a hose up underneath there and it feels like it's just full of junk. I don't know if it's actually full of junk, if it's like an illusion because the hose is just kind of worn out. Today I'm going to try to do a flush, but first I need to get in the Volkswagen, go up to the store and get all the coolant stuff that I need. Uh, but first I got to put oil in the Volkswagen. This looks like I have enough oil. <sighs> I am on a little bit of an incline, so... I mean, that looks okay, actually. So I'm not gonna put anything in it in the moment. When I get on more level ground, I'll check it. And that's just what I need. A car that leaks so much that it barely has oil, and then you add too much and it, just the whole thing leaks out, so. Let's go see what we can get. Woo. It's getting a little hot now. I uh, I forgot as I was coming up to where I need to go that I uh, had to pay our rent, so I had to go and do that. Now I'm finally getting to the store, see if I can find what I need to find. All right, well, they didn't have everything I needed. I did get some coolant and I bought a, um, a buffer for this car because I need to polish it, I guess, to make the paint last as long as I can. But I, I've done it twice just by hand. And I said after the last time, never again. It wasn't too expensive. It was like 50 bucks. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've never in my life, oh, my car just locked. And if I move too much, the alarm's gonna go off. I've never in my life um, really polished or waxed a car until this because I haven't cared that much. Um, so that's what I'm doing with this. But um, I need to get distilled water apparently. I don't know how easy it's gonna be to get distilled water here. So they didn't have it at the store I was just at. I'm gonna try looking at uh, a grocery store, see if they have it there. And if not, well, we're in Guatemala. I guess I'll just use the hose. Well, I was able to get that water. It broke and cut my finger a little bit. Not necessarily distilled, but it's filtered, I guess. And that's something and about the best I can do here. Okay, here we are gonna do the stuff on the Jeep. To get where I need to go, I need to take off this air box. And the place where I really need to get 
He is down in there. Right down there. Not too hard to get to except for the screws on the top side. And so that's why I need to take this off, get to that, and hopefully when I take it off, my buckets are in place on the bottom, which are old cat litter boxes, to catch all the old coolant and stuff. Wasn't able to find any cleaner, but I guess rinsing it out like this is better than nothing. One thing that I hate doing is taking other stuff off to get to the real problem, but can't really avoid that. All right, so where I need to get to is up in there, and I don't think you can even see on the camera yet the screw, I'll have to see. I need to get into there, and it's in a really tight spot. But I'm gonna try to do it with probably the socket because the angle that it's at, I mean, it's just at a terrible angle. There's other hoses in front of it and I can't move anything else to get to it. Okay, I think that's the right size, but the angle is very, very difficult. Let's see if I take off the attachment and can get it on there. Yeah, that's the right size. So at this point, I need to get my buckets underneath um, because as soon as I get that off, it's it's uh, it's all gonna start leaking out. Hopefully, so we'll come under here, get our buckets lined up. So there's the hose. This is where I'm hoping it comes out. And if not, I've got it. second bucket as backup. Just kind of set those there. Here's the old coolant. Pretty sure it was green at one point, not the red stuff. All the squishy stuff I felt in my my line was this. And I don't like that so much. I feel like maybe somebody put it in there so it would maintain the shape it's supposed to have. But it's all just rusty now. So I'm either being really smart by taking it out or really dumb. We'll see. Anyway, the next step now that I've got, I mean that was a beast to get that off of there because it turns out it was siliconed on so I'm most likely looking at leaks when I put it back together which is unfortunate but it's going to the mechanic on Wednesday for the air conditioning so hopefully it'll be okay until then next step is supposed to be opening this up which you don't want to do when it's hot and I'm gonna be basically running water down through this to kind of flush out the radiator All right, that wasn't so bad. Now, stupid spring things. Now, I think let's just take this side off and do the same thing down through there because that basically took care of the radiator, I guess. And this is gonna do through the engine side of it. I only watched a video once. I hope I'm doing it right. There's always some kind of surprise as you're going through this stuff in Guatemala. I was doing a radiator flush for one reason, and now after looking at it, um, 
it appears there's a whole other reason that I needed to do this that I wasn't aware of and that is those weird spring things I can already see that this one is siliconed as well okay so what I decided was I'm not even gonna take that off I'm not a professional <laughs> and um, I mean, I've cleaned out the radiator. Yeah, there's still gonna be kind of the, some of the old stuff in the motor, but this is one of those like, do the best you can situation, not the best possible in another country. So instead what I've done is I decide I'm gonna leave that because it's siliconed and I don't have the silicone at the moment to do that. Like I said, going to the mechanic this week, maybe he can take a look at it. Instead, what I've done is taken out the the, uh, the overflow because it looks terrible in there too I mean it's hard to hard to tell but it's just bad here's some of the old stuff I mean there's so much junk in there which I gotta believe is from those spring things so just it's crazy to me but... situation with the Jeep is cooling for a minute I was able to get a gallon and a half of coolant into it but I wasn't able to get all the water into it that I need to get into it so I need to figure out what the deal is with that in the meantime um, I'm gonna figure out what happened to the Volkswagen's emergency brake it just um, basically came out in my hand so it's just sitting here in gear well I'm sorry I didn't film any of it but I got that put back on. One problem, I'm missing a little fitting that goes on there to keep it tight, but got that part of it done at least. Now to go back and check on the Jeep. Okay, my problem now is that I can't get enough water back into it. And I'm not sure what to do about that. So I can't get any fluid or uh, yeah, radiator or coolant to really drop down at all. So the prognosis after talking with my dad is I might as well just fill this up with water and maybe it'll mix, should be all right. And probably that there was, I didn't get all the water out of the engine that was in the engine. So the temperature seems to be okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that everything is great, but like I said, hoping that there's enough water already in the system that the water from the tank mixes with what's in the radiator and that that will kind of make everything eventually balance out a little bit and you know having an old jeep like this things leak anyway so possibility is that you know things start to leak and i start to replace it with 50 50 and uh, we're all good but i think the important thing with this whole situation is that you got to keep keep looking and monitoring the temperature because from what i've read doing pure 100 percent coolant which i don't know you could say this is like 75 percent right now Conclusions. Should have done this when my dad was here. Thought I fixed the Volkswagen handbrake and then it ended up coming apart again. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Maybe it's just not tight enough. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching this riveting video.